Hi, my name is Matt Simpson. I'm uh, here testifying on behalf of the ACLU and the ACLU of Texas. Um, <clears throat> and I believe you were just handed uh, a, kind of a two-page summary of our uh, take on the legal side of this. But I wanted to make a few comments in my two minutes. Um, the first is that, you know, because some of the review committee has made comments that uh, kind of raise the concern that we are uh, about to incorporate some of these religious beliefs or uh, biblically, you know, something based on biblical principles into our science uh, curriculum, I think it's important to remember some basics from the Constitution. Uh, first off, the founders clearly wanted to separate uh, government and, and religion. And, uh, and Texas uh, is well served by this policy. There are uh, more m people of the Muslim faith in Texas than there are in any other state. We also have diversity in, in, in Buddhism. Uh, there are a large number of Catholics and a large number of Mormons. Uh, so making sure that, that we don't adopt any one religion in our, in, our, in our science textbooks is really important for everyone that maybe doesn't actually have that faith system. Um, <clears throat> along with that, um, the, the courts really have ruled again and again that uh, biblical principles as the basis for a scientific theory are problematic. And the Edwards case, is, as has been discussed, is one example of that. But there are others. Um, and ultimately, uh, should, should the review committee's suggestions be taken up by, by this body, uh, there is concern that there could even be litigation on that point. And in the past, litigation has not gone in favor of people that were uh, pushing for creationism or biblically, biblical principles in the, in the science books. So for the future of Texas and for the quality of our workforce, I hope that we can find a way to get hard science into our textbooks. I'll defer to Mr. Bradley. <laughs> okay, Mr. Bradley. So did you threaten to sue us? No, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I heard it. Usually when someone does that, I stop the conversation and point them to the courthouse. I don't even think you'd have to wait for the ACLU to sue you. You could be by yeah. sued by a number of people. You know, uh, just a just clarification of a, uh, and we were sued by a publisher on an environmental science textbook, and uh, we've got great lawyers too, and the state prevailed. Congratulations. Uh, you, you're, you made a point that these reviewers, uh, from what I can ascertain, out of the, the 222 approximately that were reviewing these specific books, there was one reviewer who made a comment. That's a pretty small number, and, and to try to categorize it as the reviewers that are making comments. It was one single individual. Would you agree with me? Uh, I, you know, I actually don't know how many reviewers uh, So you made, made the statement students. without having knowledge. No, I didn't. I could read you the one example I'm familiar with. I didn't pull a number one. of examples. It, it was one. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not up to uh, speed on that the way you are, I guess. Being the issue of separation of church and state, I got another $1,000 that's been sitting out there for quite a few years that nobody's ever picked up because they can't find it in the Constitution. But here's my other question. If someone does have a faith belief, a Christian who believes in the Bible, are they ineligible to serve here in the public square as a reviewer for a biology textbook? No, not at all. Okay. Yeah, no, the concern is the biblical, the biblical principles as the basis for a scientific theory. Uh, and that's really specific. So it doesn't really, I mean, as many people have testified are, you know, a variety of faiths. Um, you know, I, I don't think that so has anything to do faith, with it. What we're talking about is something much more specific. Okay, so people of faith can serve in the public square. I appreciate that. They absolutely that. should, right? Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot.